probiotic is a live microbial adjunct which has a beneficial effect on the host. A probiotic exhibits this effect by the following means. By modifying the host associated microbial community, by ensuring improved use of feed, by enhancing its nutrition, by enhancing the host response towards disease, or by improving quality of the ambient environment. Microbial adjuncts preventing proliferation of pathogens in gut or elsewhere, improving digestibility, delivering improved nutrition to aquatics, enhancing host response to acquired disease, and improving environmental quality. Probiotics is a new emerging field wherein the bacteria isolated from the guts of the animals as well as from the environment is used to control pathogens causing diseases in aquatic organisms as well as in animals, land animals. The recent outbreak of pathogens in US and uh, as well as in Europe Okay, is a telltale evidence of use of continuous profuse use of antibiotics which leads to development of resistant strains leads to many deaths. In these cases the probiotics can be used to control these pathogens. Probiotics are mainly lactic acid bacteria which are widely present in fermented foods such as curd, idli batter, appam batter etc. This bacteria is also present in the gut of animals. Because probiotics have excellent antimicrobial activity, they can be exploited for useful purposes like controlling disease in aquaculture, preserving food and for controlling gastrointestinal diseases in humans and animals. Previously, antibiotics have been widely used for controlling disease in aquaculture and for preservation of seafood. But these are now seeing failure due to the development of antibiotic resistance in pathogenic bacteria. Safe probiotics which do not lead to side effects and build no resistance in pathogens are becoming suitable alternative for antibiotics. We have isolated probiotic bacteria from the gut of prawn, fish, as well as some South Indian fermented food like kallapam and kur. Shrimp larvae were grown in mild condition under aseptic environment in hatcheries. These larvae were fed with algae, artemia, micro-encapsulated liquid feed along with probiotic. At the larval stages of shrimp like nauplii, zoe and mysis, the post larvae were treated hygienically and gently as babies. During the entire 21-day life cycle in hatchery, larvae were cultured in sterile water, filtered through sand filter and UV treated with uniform salinity. Even in these conditions, a chance of disease outbreak was high especially vibriosis, stunted growth and mass mortality due to poor sanitation and management system. At this stage, the use of antibiotics and chemicals were totally banned and they were replaced with probiotics like Streptococcus phoci and Bacillus subtilis as it is safe for human consumption, eco-friendly as well as good for animal health. The probiotics not only control pathogenic bacteria in the tank water but also enhances the digestion system by stimulating enzyme production and absorption of nutrients in the larvae. These are the healthy post larvae with good gut ratio. Following a WSSV laboratory screening, the healthy post larvae in the average stage of PL14 to PL20 were finally packed in polythene bags along with artemia, 
filled with oxygen and kept in the box for transportation to shrimp farms. Probiotics are screened by growing the bacteria isolated from the source material on selective medium such as MRS agar. They are further screened based on their antimicrobial activity. This is done by methods like agar well diffusion and cross streaking using disease causing pathogenic bacteria as test organism. These include pathogens like Vibrio parahemolyticus, Vibrio harvei, Vibrio vulnificus, Aeromonas hydrophila, Salmonella species, and Listeria monocytogens. The selected strain of lactic acid bacteria is then characterized morphologically and biochemically and further identified by 16S RNA sequencing. The efficacy of the strain is tested in laboratory by administering as feed to shrimps at post-larval, juvenile and sub-adult stages. The probiotic which shows good activity by enhancing the disease resistance in shrimp against pathogenic bacteria is then used in hatchery and farm application. Biofermentation technology makes it possible to grow a number of beneficial microorganisms in large tanks. The selected probiotic microorganisms are cultured in biofermenter for the biomass and extracellular secretory product bacteriosin for application in shrimp farms and preservation of seafoods. Fermenter has various provisions such as temperature controller, steam generator, which maintains right conditions for the growth of microorganism. Once the probiotic bacteria is optimally grown in fermenter, culture broth is collected and centrifuged at 5000 rpm for 5 minutes at 4 degrees. The separated cells are mixed with saline and taken to shrimp hatchery and farm for application. The antimicrobial protein called bacteriosin is purified from the cell free supernatant by the following process. Ultrafiltration is a variety of membrane filtration in which hydrostatic pressure forces a liquid against a semi permeable membrane. Suspended solids and solutes of high molecular weight are retained while water and low molecular weight proteins like bacteriosin pass through the membrane. Sample obtained after ultrafiltration of cell-free culture supernatant is filtered by 0.2 micron membrane filter. This is then injected into the column packed with Cephidix G25 gel chromatographic matrix which is attached to Acta Prime Plus protein purification system. Proteins are separated based on their molecular weight. Purified bacteriosin can be used for the purpose of food preservation. The purified bacteriosin is further fractionated and purified using HPLC. This instrument runs on the principle of hydrophobic interaction between protein and hydrophobic matrix made up of silica-based material linked to 18 carbon chains. Hydrophobic interaction varies among proteins. This property of proteins combined with densely packed ultra-small beads and high pressure gives a very good resolution. Mass spectrometry is used for the determination of molecular mass of purified bacteriosin. We inject our purified bacteriosin here, which is ionized by electron sprayer and carried to the detector. The detector detects the amount of ionization and calculates the molecular weight by mass to charge ratio of bacteriosin. Streptococcus 4K 
a probiotic is cultured in large fermenters in the laboratory and collected after 24 hours to be brought to the shrimp farm and mixed with commercial feed. The mixed feed is dried under cool atmosphere in shade. The dried feed mixed with treated probiotic is fed to the shrimp once in four days. Once in a week, the probiotics along with culture filtrate is administered in the pond water. Air is continuously circulated using long arm aerator. From this creek, frequented by birds, water is pumped to culture ponds. Weekly sampling of shrimp is carried out by netting few shrimps to analyze parameters like the molting, weekly gain weight, daily average gain weight and subsequently calculating food conversion ratio. Shrimps are also observed for any symptoms of disease. After analyzing the health status of the animal, they are let free back to the culture pond. An important observation is that foaming of pathogenic secretions and flocculates is seen in the untreated pond, whereas the probiotic treated pond water is clear free of flocculants. It can be deduced that probiotic treated pond improves molting since a lot of molted carapace was found in the pond bottom. Increase of molting cycle ultimately increases the average animal body weight as well as the health status. However, in the control pond, the molting cycle is normal. Probiotic application in pond is visualized with clear bottom, free of black soil, which otherwise forms due to accumulation of feed waste. During harvesting, the sluice gate is covered with fishing net and open for draining of water. The drained pond water is directed towards the creek. About 97% of the shrimps stocked in probiotic treated pond survived, whereas in control only 80% survived. Hence, probiotic treatment not only enhanced the survival but also the yield. 3.3 to 3.5 tons of shrimp were harvested from the probiotic treated pond and 2.6 tons were harvested from the control ponds. The FCR for treated pond is 1 is to 1.4 whereas in control it is 1 is to 1.7. Animals in treated pond were found to be good and healthy whereas animals in untreated pond showed abnormalities like black patches, soft shell syndrome, irregular shape of antennae due to vibriosis and tail rot disease. The harvested shrimp are immersed in ice plastic containers for safe killing and these were then stored in insulated vans for transportation to processing plants in Chennai to Tikorin, Cochin, Nellore and Vishakhapatnam.